what sort of friend, friend we have in Jesus, in Jesus, oh, of our sins and grief to bear. Ooh, ooh, and what, what a pri a privilege it is to carry, to carry, yeah, yeah, everything to God in prayer. Mm, oh, oh, what peace we often forfeit, and oh, oh, what needless pains we bear. Mm -hmm. oh, all because, because we do not carry, not carry everything, everything to God in prayer. How many of y'all believe that? Ooh, ooh, because, tch. good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place I'll call the Mental House. With me, your host, Khadija. Happy Sunday to you all, and I hope you on this side of the dirt, um, thanking God for being alive and for all his many blessings even in spite of everything that's going wrong. It's just so much going on in the world today. Um, I was talking to a young man. Well, he's not a young man. Uh, Middle-aged brother. And we were talking about, it seems like, after the pandemic. I mean, people was already cray-cray. But it seemed like after the pandemic, Satan has unleashed just all the demons out of the pits of hell and um that is what we're experiencing right now so the only thing i can tell y'all is to stay conscious and to stay prayered up because no matter what you think no matter what religion you are no matter who you are you got to realize that keeping yourself connected to whatever you deem a higher power to whatever you deem um a source of energy try to stay connected to that um and so your higher self will prevail that's all i can say because after what has happened to uh sade robinson and my heart go out so much to her mother sheena i um it's not like i i i know them personally but i do know that they are, um, the mom is uh, a familiar with a friend of mine. In fact, uh, you know, they live in close proximity to one another. So, of course, everybody is traumatized by the story. Um, we're glad that Maxwell Anderson has been uh, charged. And you know, that, you know, I guess that, that takes some load off of you. But at the end of the day, to have a family member murdered is one thing. But to have your family members go out and look uh, for her because they didn't feel that the, these Keystone cops were doing an accurate or appropriate job which I agree that you have to go out and find 
body parts of your loved one. To me, that right there just sent me over the top. That family members are out there doing police work. And this is just to show y'all just how much we are an afterthought. Nobody cares about us. And so the least thing we could do is care about each other. Because they don't care about us. And the, the sad part about it is we don't care about each other. You know, I heard a lot of negative uh, talk going on about this young lady who only 19 years old. How many of y'all have done dumb shit when you were 19? I know I have. I know my kids have. Um, and that is no, has nothing to do. And that's just the stuff I know about. It has nothing to do with the adults that they have become. Um, the human beings and the productive member of society that they turned out to be. And because you make one mistake, you it costs you your life. It can happen. It can happen. And I just want to tell all our girls, you know, just be, you know, to make sure, and I, you know, and I'm not saying this is the case in that situation, but just because you see a white boy, um, and he seems to be nice, and you don't want to seem prejudiced, this go for a white boy, a black boy, any kind of boy. I just think it's really important that we vet people, um, because there's no way in the world Sade would thought that she would have been. A damn headline. And in the most hideous, disgusting way. I know she didn't. But I know the moment that death came upon her. And she knew what she had gotten herself into. I hear about a sex dungeon and all that stuff. Which I don't want to get into right now. And I'm going to keep um, the story going on on this young lady. Because it's not something that you just throw away and forget about. This was a human being. And yeah, because you caught him, don't mean it's over. That family is hurting. That family is hurting, and I'm hurting for him. And if we were any kind of community, we would feel the same way. I feel like that's my baby. I feel like that is my baby that was taken away. And whenever we have a, a love for one another, I love my neighbor like I love myself. But when we have a love for each other, then we will begin to protect each other a little more. And um, we will begin to vet ourselves and who our company is a little bit stronger. Because a lot of people don't like us. And I don't think we really believe that. And unless you can put a ball in a hoop or throw a football through an upright they don't give a damn about us. Michael Jackson told you. So with that being said, I don't want to stay on rambling too much on this story. I just want to say my heart goes out to the Robinson family again. I'm glad that this week is a different week than last week because now we know and there is a period at the end. But trust me, there is more to come about this story and I do believe it has the markings of a Jeffrey Dahmer situation. I said it then. And I'm saying it now. And I'm going to keep up with this family. And um, send my blessings. And love to them. All I know how. And I, I su suggest. Anybody under the sound of my voice. Who got children. If you can just imagine that being your child. I think you would want this at the same time you would want peace you would want prayer prayer it is it's a it's a moving thing and when we all move on one accord and maybe we can bring some healing some healing to all the people involved with that being said <laughs> you like what you hear please like subscribe and share to my channel and i'll see you in the next video